guys, I'm here at Cars and Brunch, Newport Beach at Chihuahua Tap Room, Cerveza Tap Room, that is. And uh, we're here interviewing a Mr. Kurt Shivers today. He's brought himself a 1963 Fiat. And this is our pick of the week here at Cars and Brunch. Please tell us about your car. Okay. Well, it started uh, in 2015. My brother he lives in Grand Junction, Colorado. He gave me the car. Oh, really? He gave me a sedan. Okay. And that's the day it arrived. That's my grandson, Tim and my neighbor, Marcel. Wow. And that's the day it arrived in Huntington Beach. Okay. And I didn't know that these cars were the genesis for Jollies. Okay, a Fiat Jolly. I didn't know that at the time. I was watching Chasing Claps in Cars, and I learned that. And then I thought, ooh, maybe I can convert this into a Jolly. Because that's, the Fiat didn't make any. They sent them all to House of Gia, and they made them one at a time. Oh, they, got you. They sent new Fiat sedans yep. to the House of Gia, and they made maybe 650. That's over where the, the Jollies come Over from. the 50s and 60s. Gotcha. And Jolly, by the way, translates to Joker in Italian. And it was supposed to be a one-off custom car for the guy who was running Fiat at the time. He told his engineers, I need something light and small that I can crane on and off my boat. He had a 85-foot custom sailing yacht. Gotcha. And he was he loved to sail the Mediterranean town. So they sent one, a Fiat 500, to uh, House of Ghia, and they made the first Jolly. That's great. So that's how it started. So here we are, we are looking at your version of the Jolly, and yeah. tell us more about it. Okay, well, I was originally I was gonna convert it to be a sedan, a nice sedan converted. It didn't run, there was water in the oil. Uh, it would turn over nicely, but it wouldn't start. But I thought, hey, I can handle that. Probably is a gas head gasket or a leak somewhere, you know, getting water in there. And uh, so I started looking into uh, converting to a Jolly, but I wanted to make sure my brother was okay with that. Because it's kind of scary. I've never done this kind of work before. And he was excited about it. So I started studying and I basically took the doors off. The doors went down to here. Right. This had to be reinforced because a car without a top. Oh, it would talk up. It's not a six sided rectangle. It's, nope. gonna, it's gonna bend. It's gonna turn into like a taco. That. We so, call that a taco. A taco, okay, yeah, it yeah it's gonna bend. Yeah, it'll taco. So that's why a Jeep has sides that come up. Yep. It's a five sided box. Yep. So I put heavy steel in here, stressed it together, Beautiful. skinned it. I added all this. Is that all steel? It's all steel. Wow. There, unfortunately, there's no drawings or plans for Jollies. So, all so you I had, had to make all the bucks for this? You had to buck had to, this all? I, I had to find Jollies and go measure them. No kidding. Oh, so yes. you actually took this off the real measurement of, off a yes, real Jolly? Yes, but they're okay. all different. And I found <laughs> I out bet, huh? <laughs> the reason is because they're all made one at a time. Yeah. They never, I have two or three Jollies I compared. Gotcha. Like the distance from here to here was different. It's like so Ferraris. I'm making it. They're di they're different too. Every I'm making it at the Ferrari. house of Kurt. It's the way I want it. Sure, that's great. So that's awesome. This is a one of the. That's amazing. That's metal work. I'm thinking, you yeah. know, oh, he built it out of the glass. It had a lot of that. It this had a lot of rust. Yeah, I spent crazy. about a year doing rust repair um, and going around here. Should we go over here? Yeah, oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Okay. This is a rear engine car, and in fact. The Fiat was the, the uh, sedan was the first rear engine car for Fiat, and the first one was air cooled, and it was about 15 horsepower. Didn't have wow. a radiator. This has a radiator. And this has this fully integrated. It's like they almost added the radiator and modified the engine. It's almost like they took the original engine and then modified it over. But it's hard to say because you know air cooled engines are really kind of a different animal yeah. to start with. But it's really neat how they did this. I, I love it. I know. I, I think do it's too. It's really cool. I think the size of this radiator is cute. Yep. Okay. Air comes in through the louvers. Yep. Tons gets of air. blown forward. This generator turns. This fan, this yep. is the water pump. Yep. This turns this fan, and so the air goes down, and and it's blown out the oh, bottom. So yeah, so everything's blowing downward. Yeah. That's a really and nice design. Actually. Another thing that's kind of fun. It's cold. It's cold in Italy, right? Sure. So they have a little switch right here. That's warm air. So now it's taking warm air off the manifold, where you got cold. Now you have cold air. Okay. 
And oh, so that's just a yeah. That's a that's a, a manual preheater. You have to actually get in and out of the car to change it. Yeah, if it's yeah, a cold because day. That's normally a choke that you would have on your dash. The choke, it's not on the dash. The choke is in the middle of the console. That's funny. It's crazy. It's right, right in front of behind the shifter. And we got the little distributor right there, and we got our little tiny carburetor. The carburetor is smaller than a Volkswagen. It's a little Weber carburetor. It's a little Weber. Yeah, yep. that would make sense. Yep. A nice little, uh, little little. That's an original fuel pump. That's a mechanics fuel pump. That's uh, actually odd because most of uh, they've had to, they've had to replace them. And it is a four cylinder. This is a four cylinder. This is it's, an actual. You know, you would think something like this would be a three cylinder, a two cylinder. How many cc's is it? I don't know. But, but I always ask somebody, you, you're into CCs, right? You know CCs? Yeah. I mean cubic inches? Yeah. yeah. They go, yeah. Oh, like I have 427 big, right? Yeah. Uh, 562 big, right? I've got 767. And they look at me like, uh, no. Yeah, I'm not, not, not buying. This is actually a 767, but it's CCs. Right. It's not cubic inches. Now my my roommate has a 1200 Kawasaki. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's it's a it's a motorcycle. Yeah, it's a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, but this is not. Yeah. You can actually lift this yeah. motor. It's On four that. four bolts like a Volkswagen. Four bolts. This goes. You take this off. I see. Yeah. You've got yeah. On, a, on a jack and you roll it out and you lower it. And I actually now I don't know if I could do it now, but five years ago, straddle it, picked it up, and set it down on wow. a on a. Dolly. So now tell, let's, talk, let's talk a little bit about this uh, this roof here. This is something I've okay. never seen. Well, originally these came with Surrey tops. Right. Okay. Right. But That's I wanted I said to put, a Surrey top. That's the first thing I said. I was making a surf tribute car. Gotcha. So I wanted to put vintage boards up there with glass tin fins, tail blocks, like they had in the 50s and 60s. And I thought that would be nice shade, nice beach thing. Uh, these, these, uh, hand grabs down here on these armrests are supposed to look like a tail block on a surfboard. Gotcha. Okay, that's why they're like that. And that's why the woody top, because it's kind of a surf culture mm -hmm. thing. But what happened was in 2019, I was visiting Western Canada. My my nephew was having a, and wife were having a baby. And, uh, or they had a baby son. And we went to see him and while we were there, we vacationed him in Vancouver. And we decided to take a bus tour. So we got on a bus, and it was a Woody. It was an old Woody. I was blown away by the scene that I couldn't even look out the windows. I had to stick, study it, take yeah. photos. And I, 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 this actually happened. I, I thought to myself, I think I might be able to make that. I saw the photographs, and it looks like you did very well. And it's beautiful. It came out very nice. It looks and like it's something that we would have built for the boats down here. I grew up right here. Oh yeah. I grew up on the sport fishing boats at Daisy oh, yeah. Locker and stuff here. Well, yeah. So this is my home. This is my. I've this is my never childhood. Never made a living as a body man, but I decided to try it. I weld and cut. And you all did that. great. I just, did, I just did. I wasn't afraid to try. Yeah. So I, I wasn't afraid of a do-over. And so then I bought. I looked at YouTube. I looked at. Uh, 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 boat design, uh, I found a nice book on how to do a strip canoe, very similar, and then I saw a 49 Dodge Power Wagon, which the design I wanted, but I loved the ceiling underneath, mm -hmm. you might want to see, yeah, and I'm I, I love that look, and I love these bows right here, okay, I love these, these, these bows and these strips, and I, I wanted to be able to see that while I'm driving. That's beautiful. So it was a 49 Dodge Power Wagon, and I then I had to fit and design and think about how to how to make it fit on here. That's an amazing piece of work. So and it took a long time. Overall, I, how long did it take you to build the car? About five, five or six years. It looks it. But it wasn't full time. It was yeah. you know, I was I'm a DIYer. You know? Well, you've done a lot of DIY work here. The windshield, everything. How often do you drive it? Well, uh, I haven't had it finished that long. Yeah, but, it's, you only just brought it out. No, I, I've only seen I it a couple only, of times. I got it out of upholstery about a week and a half ago. That's what I thought. Okay. And I just got the ceiling on about two or three days ago. Great. And I got to tell you, this I have you know 56 Ford truck hot rod. Well, they're fun. But the shirt kind of tells the story. I know I like that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the most fun I'm finding is right. This one is watching people's reactions when they see the see the car they want to know what is it everybody loves that right 
Yeah. They go crazy over my 60 bug. I have oh, a yeah. red yeah. 60 cal bug. And everybody has a story. Everybody has, my mom, this, uh, yeah. this is my first car. I bet you get, my the, uncle, the stuff you get with yeah. this is just amazing. Well, I can I can, I can read people's lips. Yeah. My, I can. I, <laughs> sure. You know, okay. pe people are, I watch them across the street. They go, what is that? Yeah, what is they, that? What is that? And I just, you can see me. I'm, I'm totally. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You're I'm totally wide open. So I just go like this. I don't know. <laughs> because, you call it. Yeah, and then I. You I, call it. Then I then I give him my mean horn. Oh my gosh, that is great. <laughs> just well, I tell you what, Kurt. Just as a joke, I have fun with it. This is an amazing car. You have an amazing story. I've known you over the, your name over the years, so it's very you know very unique just to even to meet you and to, and to see your car and to see how much fun you've had with this. Just your grin alone tells me how much you're having fun. I can't, how much fun you're I talk too much about it. My wife says talk too much about it you know what you're like me we both love our cars we have too much fun talking about them so again yeah. thank you so much well thank you it's going to be on youtube and uh i'll get you a uh i'll get you the url and a copy and whatnot i love it we'll i love it, it. thanks yeah. again bud. Thank, thank you okay thank you so much